getting ready for a visit to the clinic. Ten years ago, when Evelyn Simaloy had her first child, this would have been a dreadful experience. But now she's looking forward to the visit. Baby Elisha is six months old. His first HIV test at six weeks returned a negative result. Today, his mother will get the results of his second test. Elisha is on medication, septrin, to preempt any infection. He will continue with this dose until a week after he stops breastfeeding. They suppress my virus, the, the virus down. They keep it down to a point of undetectable. And then that way, even if I breastfeed the baby, because there's high percentage of virus in the breast milk. So even when I breastfeed him, he won't, he's not, there, there are very low chances. If I keep time, there are very low chances of transmitting the virus to him. That means Elisha can continue breastfeeding but not get infected with the HIV in his mother's milk. Simaloi has also weaned the baby. When her first child, Elijah, was born 10 years ago, she did not have the knowledge she has today to prevent HIV transmission. But he is taking his medication to suppress the virus in his body and boost his immunity. He will have to take them for the rest of his life. The Hope Center is one of the facilities where mothers like Evelyn come to receive advice on how best to take care of their children and prevent HIV infection. It is facilities like this that have given hope to many people living with HIV who in the past did not believe that they could have healthy families. Simaloi comes here every two months to find out how her family is doing. She hopes her younger son is still HIV free. I'm happy to inform you that the results for baby Elisha are back mm. and they were negative. Wow, that is so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. We'd want to have a mother whose CD4 count is high, all immunity levels are good before she gets pregnant. So that's some of the things that they need. To, uh, the mother needs to discuss with the uh, caregiver or the care provider before she gets pregnant. We also need to make sure that the level of viral virus or viral load in the system is low. These drugs and more knowledge about HIV are helping mothers like Simaloi bring up Africa's new HIV-free generation. And Soy, BBC News, Nairobi.